Hello guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile for Red Eyes. Now this is a little Red Eyes deck that I made up on Nexus. And there, there's a little bit of things that you could change around if for like your playing preference. But this is a deck that I would have that I would use if I could make it. Um you would definitely need three dark magicians and three red eyes. Because Dark Magician, Red Eyes can get Dragoon, and Red Eyes is the main focus of the deck. You can choose to get rid of Dark Magician to... You could get rid of as many Dark Magicians as you want, but if you get rid of all three, you can't get out Dragoon unless you put Fusion Materials. Um, Red Eyes, Darkness Metal... You have to banish one face-up dragon-type monster you control, and then he can special summon once per turn on your main phase, I think. Yeah, on your main phase, you can special summon one mon one dragon-type monster from your hand, deck, no, your hand or graveyard. And Red-Eyes alternative, he has to be special summoned by tributing one Red-Eyes. Um, it's destroyed by battle. I guess you could target one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster and uh, special summon it. And if it was Red Eyes, Black Dragon, him, its attack becomes double. So he would have 4,800? Yeah. Um, so now we have two of those. And Red Eyes Flare is mainly for Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Um, Red Eyes Flare Metal and Dragoon are mainly the main focus for Red Eyes decks. It's just kind of burn damage. Uh, if you want, if you just want to breathe Red Eyes Flare, you have to give me 500 life points to breathe. And then, uh, for Varishuda, you could use him to get Flare too. But on your turn, if you have Verishuda and let's say like Wyvern or Baby or Blackstone Legend, Black Metal, you could use him and another monster to get out Andakana and then pay 2,000 life points to make it become Red Eyes Fusion to instantly pump out Dragoon. Um, and then Dragon Lords, you just get to special summon a Dragon Monster. Uh, and if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could banish this from your graveyard instead. So it's a negate, and it's basically just a free, you know, graveyard summon. Magical Eyes Fusion is basically like Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, you get to fusion summon a spellcaster monster by banishing fusion, fusion materials from your graveyard or field. And it has to be a spellcaster and fusion monster. Um, and then, uh, so, Verishuda's to get out, like, Flare, no, Verishuda's to get out Flare, or an extra deck monster, uh, you don't need these yet. Sorry, I'm still, like, kind of editing this as I go. <laughs> and then, with Red Eyes Wyvern, once returned during your end phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. And... Special summon one red eyes monster from your graveyard. Then you can't normal summon or set any cards the turn you activate your effect. Um, baby dragon is when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon a level 7 or lower red eyes monster from your deck. And if you do equip it to that from the graveyard, it gains 300 attack. And if it's sent to the graveyard again, while you, while equipped to the monster, you can add one level one dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So you could get a uh, black stone or black metal. Uh, you get to target a red eyes monster. You control, equip it to that. It gains 600 attack. And if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a red eyes card from your deck to your hand. Um, and then the Black Sun of Legend is you tribute it to Special Summon, a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. 
this card is in your graveyard, then you get to target a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster and shuffle it into the deck. And if you do, you get to add this back to your hand, and you can only use the effect once per turn. So I would suggest having two of them. Uh, maybe if you would want, you could add in another Black Metal. A Red Eyes Fusion, you, you just play it and you get to pick out the Dragoon and you have to go through your deck. So it's just it's a very good pump out card. Um, and then cards to Threatstone, you send one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster to the graveyard and you draw two. Then you can send an, a level 7 Red Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. And card advance usually works with the other alternate version of the Red Eyes deck I'm going to show you. But it's still pretty good because you get to say your next five draws, one of them is going to be Red Eyes Fusion. You get to choose what card. So say you pick five, and then one of the cards, Red Eyes Fusion, you could put that on the top of your deck. So next turn, you get to pump out Red Eyes Dragoon. So that's just a really good part. And then Inferno Fire Blast is just burn damage. Now Red Eyes Insight is amazing. You get to send a Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard and add a Red Eyes spell or trap from your deck to your hand, except Red Eyes Insight, which can only be activated once per turn. So with this, you basically just get to send, you could send black metal to the graveyard, so it's 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 a double whammy. I mean, you get to add a red eyes to your hand, and you also you know get red eyes fusion. Card trader is just if you get a bad draw. It's a it's just it gives you a higher chance of getting red eyes fusion or a different card you would need. Basically, you draw the card you don't like, you could shuffle it. That's it. Only by your standby standby phase. Uh, red eyes spirit. You get to special summon one red eyes monster in your graveyard. And Fang with a Chain, target a red eyes monster, you control, equip it to this. It can make up to two attacks on monster during each battle phase. And then you can swim the equip a quick card to the graveyard and target one effect monster on the field. Equip that to that monster. And if you do, the monster equipped, so attack you can. Okay. That's a bit like. Bad. You can definitely switch it out for something better. But this is just how I would play it. And then Return of the Red Eyes is just, you know, pumping out red eyes again. So now that we have the main deck understood, you go on to the extra deck. We have three Dragoons, which is very, very impossible to have. Just, just like, if you're playing the card game with people, it's probably very impossible to have. Unless you're, like, the richest person on Earth and you've pulled 700 of these. I don't think most people are going to have three Red Eyes Dragoons in a deck. Um, and then with Red Eyes Metal Flare, he... If you want to breathe, you have to give me 500 life points. Well, that's a nice card effect. Give me 500. So with him, you could probably put on Dragon Shield, but be careful for, like, Dust Tornado or MST. And then Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. It's two effect monsters with the same type and attribute. So it's 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 just basically two Rise alternatives, or two flares, or two Verishudas, or two wyverns, or two baby dragons, or two black stones. That's basically what it is. And you can target one monster that is banished or in your graveyard and special summon it to your zone. The card points to in deep disposition. But its effects are negated, so it's it could be pretty bad. Maybe maybe if you're banishing a card for Red Eyes Darkness Metal, then you could just play that to get it back. But then there's like so many better things you could do, so I don't think everyone would probably use him a lot. <clears throat> then Firewall's just really good. He has four pointers up, down, left, and right. Target monsters on the field and or graveyard up to the number of monsters co-linked with this card. Which is amazing. So, 
Uh, hold up. I don't know how to explain it. I really can't explain it. Hold up. But it paused, right? Huh. Okay, my stream keys aren't working. I can't pause. Whatever. So, this is the main Red Eyes deck. And then with Arc with access code, he's just a very good card to have. Same thing with Nightmare Kill. With Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn. But Endicon, like I said, you could pump him out, pay 2,000, and basically turn his effect into Red Eyes Fusion to pump out Dragoon. So this premises of the deck is pretty good. I like it. So I think it's very good. Uh, I could show you some gameplay with it. Okay, so we're gonna show off some gameplay with this deck. Uh, the opponent gets to go first. With this hand, you can definitely pump out some cards. You can pump out two Dragoons with this hand. show you some more play of it. So usually you'd want to go first, but if you're looking to get more than a that can go. But I wouldn't suggest you to go exactly. got out for again. The next time we can get another skin and if we get a hand, we can activate card trader. The thing is Onikana only has 500 the I mean 500 attack. So we can kill like Aerie. They probably will. 
Oh yeah, another alternative route to this deck is to get rid of three cards, add three super poly, and add mud dragon or garden venom fusion. And right there, he discarded my card. Look at that stuff. Cards will definitely try and get off the hand. Because the student can't always negate the effect of a card. But I can see I again. Or we can pay another 2,000 to activate. This guy needs to hurry up his turn. <laughs> that was very necessary, by the way. I do want to specify specify that. That was very, very necessary for that, by the way. Like, crap. Why does he keep going to the graveyard? Uh <laughs> see that having three dragoons is very, very good. Screen just Hey, dang, that kind of screwed me over. But you see, if I didn't win right there, I would have gotten rid of my two normal monsters on the field to get out Nightmare Phoenix. And then I would have kept going. So this is the end of the video. Uh... This is my Red Eyes deck profile. I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Nexus. Uh, I'm Red Eyes is cool. So, this is the end of my video. Bye!